Good morning, good morning, guys. Thanks for coming back for another video. Uh, we're in, in the shop again, trying to get some work done on this truck. So um, today, I don't have a whole lot of time to work out here. Got a, some other stuff going on. Um, but two of the things I'd like to get done, I got all the fittings for my fuel system. Um, so I'm hoping to finish that up. And then I was thinking, I kind of want to throw the bed on this weekend. So one of the last things I have to do under here, aside from getting the fuel pump wiring hooked up, um, and that's just plugging it in, then I can do all the wiring later. But I want to put the drop shackles that I have for this thing on. Uh, I'm going to set them at one inch, and then if we got to go two, we can go two. Um, but that's where I'm going to start. I just want to say thanks so much for some of the recent comments on my videos. Uh, they've been good questions and it's made me kind of rethink some of the stuff that I've been doing and look into other options. So um, I appreciate that. Appreciate the couple recent subscriptions. Thanks for all the likes on everything and we're gonna get to freaking work. So I'll see you in a little bit. guys checking back in with you got a little progress done um, got the return line at the bottom done got the supply line to the regulator done and got the regulator to the fuel rail all complete so that wraps around the backside pretty dang happy with how that all turned out I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make this bend but it ended up working great so uh, that turned out good and unfortunately it's about where we're going to call it for today because I kind of ran out of time. But uh, I will see you for some more content another day. And uh, till then, I don't know. Alrighty, guys, coming back at you. Second part of this video. Um, next day, coming to work on the truck. Uh, today, I'm going to first attack these drop shackles. That's what I wanted to get done yesterday, but kind of just ran out of time. Um, and after that, I am going to start trying to figure out what's going on with the fuel tank, uh, fuel pump wiring. So that's a Huron Speed bulkhead, and it's got two pumps in it. Um, so it's got a special wiring uh, harness that I purchased along with it. And uh, I got to figure that out. And then once I figure that out and get everything underneath the in here done, drop shackles that, uh, I might be able to put the bed on. Now, I'm not saying the bed's going to go on today because I don't have an extra set of hands, but uh, it can be ready to go on. So look forward to that, and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Follow the light if you're not sure and listen to your gut. To your gut. The right path back. Come when the time is right Come for you Take your own method Looking for the one who's trying to be perfect, yeah You will try to match it Don't be sad if you don't make it up uh. You hope for one loves Living life means making blunders It can make you shatter You will try to fight the thunders Trust me no matter what happens Because I will stay by your side in your heart Whatever happens, remember that you can do anything you want. All 
Alrighty, so just checking back in with you. I uh, got the drop shackles in. These are one or two inch drop shackles and I ultimately decided to go two inch because uh, I want this thing pretty low in the back, but also um, just gonna try it out and see how it looks and then I can always change them back to uh, one inch later. So the uh, got the bolts in here, use some of the original bolts, which I cleaned up and they looked pretty good. So um, don't have a problem reusing them. Uh, but anyways, the truck is sitting pretty good now. Uh, everything went in together nice and uh, well. And now if I zoom out a little bit, um, you can see the truck is sitting a little more level. So I'm really happy with the way that it's sitting now. Um, I think the front's going to have to come down a little bit. And eventually we're probably going to have to see notch a frame. But uh, for now... It is what it is, and it looks pretty good and pretty happy with it. So we're gonna move on to fuel pump wiring. Uh, I gotta figure out how this all goes together. Uh, here on Speed does have a nice kit, uh, sorry, not kit, but instructions on how to wire this stuff together. Um, here it is here. So I'm gonna start looking at that, try and learn some stuff, and uh, see what I can figure out. Alrighty, so started to read on this stuff, and uh, it's pretty, Pretty simple. Uh, I got most of it figured out already. So what I got to still do a little research on is it says connect to fuel level sending wires and connect to factory fuel pump trigger wire. So that's these two, uh, blue and purple. And uh, pretty easy other than that, you got your two power wires, you got two relays that they already give you, and these go to ground. And then this black wire is the trigger for the second pump. So it runs the first pump constantly. And then you can connect that second wire either to uh, a switch, a hob switch. Um, it says an eBoost 2, which looks like is a boost controller. Um, so there's plenty of options. I guess if you have a boost controller, you just tie it in and then it does all that for you. If you wanted to run two pumps uh, at the same time, for some reason, you could chassis ground it. But that's probably not a good idea for daily driving. So I'm going to keep plugging away on this, um, try to figure out the uh, routing that I want to take of the new line, um, mostly because I got to tie in these guys to this electrical connector here. And I think I'm going to try and run the wire loom through the cab mount right here. So I'm um, going to play around with that a little bit and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. And I also, somewhere in here, have a hummingbird flying around that can't seem to find his way out. So, right there, buddy. Go get it. Alrighty, so checking back in uh, about an hour later. So, I have, and you can just barely see up in here, I got the fuel pump trigger connected to the two blue wires. And I got it heat shrinked, and it's in the wire loom. Uh, Two blue wires right there. There's a gray one back in there. Now, the other thing that um, I'm gonna call here on speed, because I don't need to get it done today and I don't necessarily wanna do it wrong, but I'm pretty sure these two wires are universal, meaning that it doesn't matter which one they connect to. Um, here's the fuel pump level sender, and then the other one is still in the connector. And I wanna just make sure that uh, I don't, it doesn't matter which way I connect those. Um, Cause of course I don't want my fuel level gauge to read backwards. So I'm gonna call them on that one. Uh, the other thing I started to do while I was underneath here, I got three of the grounds cleaned up and uh, mounted to the frame. And I have all the wiring for the fuel pumps uh, up in here. And then I gotta find a spot for these two grounds somewhere on the chassis. So I was thinking about mounting the relays uh, up underneath here, kind of like this, be protected for the most part, and then the splash shield will be out of the way. Uh, the, the harness doesn't give you a whole lot of room to mount them, so I think that's where it's going to end up going. Um, but I'll play around with that a little bit more once we get to that point. So I'm going to keep cleaning up grounds. I know there's one up here in the front uh, somewhere. I think it's this guy. This has to go somewhere back here, I think. Um, or actually maybe right here and, uh, my hummingbird's still in here, even like an hour later, uh, he's an idiot and, uh, there's one more girl in the back. So I'm going to work on cleaning those up and we'll see what time that puts us at. 
Alrighty guys, well, this is where we're gonna call it for the day. Um, luckily enough, the hummingbird just flew out, so good for him. Finally figured it out three hours later. Um, but with that being said, we got the drop shackles in. Uh, we started on the fuel pump wiring. It's all set enough that um, I can put the bed on if I want to. Um, and I think I do. I want the truck to look like a truck. And also, that is pretty secure where it is, but uh, I don't really want it leaning up against the wall anymore. So um, the other thing that I noticed I needed to get done um, was grounds. And so you can see I got those nice and clean and then cleaned up the frame. And I just used my right angle grinder to do that. So um, between grounds, the drop shackles, and some of the wiring and the fuel pump stuff, um, that pretty much toasted my afternoon here. Uh, I did end up doing the grounds on the front of the truck uh, over here, which I don't know if those are permanent, but they're in their place. Um, and then I ended up doing the grounds that are down here by the front cab mount. So uh, with us getting that stuff done, um, and it's about six o'clock, I'm ready to go home, have some dinner, and for some reason, I got mosquitoes out here really bad, um, probably because we got a lot of rain recently. So uh, I'm getting bit up every once in a while and I'm kind of annoyed with it. So I'm gonna call it on this for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.